everybody welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video welcome back to our kitchen so we're gonna be cooking tonight what are we cooking spaghetti squash spaghetti squash come cook with us okay so I've had a lot of people ask me how I cook spaghetti squash now you can do it one of two ways you can cook it in the oven or you can cook it in the microwave this is about a medium sized squash it's it's just a little over a small so I'm gonna cook this one in the microwave and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke some holes using this regular fork just to vent it because it will steam and it will hiss and bubble in the microwave and we want to make sure that that has some way of escape I do try to um, poke enough holes that it does vent pretty well. So it's pretty holy. Praise the Lord. The squash is holy. The Bible said, Be ye holy, for I am holy. You see these holes? The squash is holy. <laughs> Praise the Lord for save squash. So I'm putting this in the microwave for 10 minutes. went in for 15 minutes and if you look I can poke it it's nice and tender it's hot but I'm gonna let it rest for a while and then I'm gonna work on my meat sauce okay you guys so in my fry pan I have onions garlic and mushrooms and I'm just sauteing that in a little bit of baking grease just put a, about a tablespoon full of bacon grease. I use one small, probably a medium onion, and about four mushrooms, light button. And then I'm just bringing that to a saute. The next thing I'm gonna do is yesterday, and I'm not really following, I'm not following the Frugal Family Food Low Spin Challenge to a perfect, you know, I'm doing some pieces of it. But not all the pieces just because for some reason I have not been able to get my January to work out for me. But I did do a double batch of ground chicken yesterday. And we used half in a chicken bacon ranch keto dish. And so tonight I'm doing the other half for this spaghetti squash. Now if you follow my meal plan, spaghetti squash was supposed to be for next week. But it was easy to cook and the kids don't feel well and mama's not feeling 100% stellar. So I'm in here trying to get it done so that I can go and do something else that is, does not require standing. <laughs> so what I'm doing now, I know somebody in the group asked about how can one pound of meat feed, feed four grown adults. And here's what I think. Or here's what I know. It's a challenge when you have um, pretty big chunks of meat. And so sometimes some person gets more than another and it's not equally spread out if you don't um, measure it out each person. So what I started doing, and I didn't do it tonight just because I didn't want to wash extra dishes, is putting the meat once I've browned it in the food processor and grinding it. It breaks it down into much smaller pieces. So tonight I'm just kind of chopping it a little bit. But it breaks those larger chunks into smaller chunks and it just makes it easier to deal with. So I'm gonna keep browning up this veg. I'm gonna throw my chicken in and then we're gonna move forward from there. Okay, so I've got my chicken, I've got my onions, and I've got my mushrooms. Chicken is not a high fat um, meat. So I had to turn my stove back because I didn't want things to start to uh, burn, but that's fine. So now that everything is um, warm through, my uh, uh, veg is sauteed, I actually did um, put some salt, garlic powder, and onion powder in here. What I am going to do now is I'm going to add in my sauce, and I'm going to do a blush because I do have some of this creamy basil alfredo sauce to use. and. Um, 
So I'm going to use the rest of this. I think there's about half of this. So there's about half a jar. It's probably a cup. Probably a cup. And I'm going to scrape that out to get all that's in there out. This is a lower carb sauce. I think for quarter cup, it is two grams of carbs. So at a cup, there's about eight grams of carbs in here. Divide that by three people. And then I'm going to use some of this ragu simply because I am going to add in about, mm, not sure how much of this. Maybe about half a cup. This is a higher content, so I don't want to add too much. Well, let me see. Let me measure it. So I'll do about half a cup. <coughs> and that should be plenty for us. And then I'm just going to mix. And now for some folks, you know, that wouldn't be enough sauce, but because I want to keep my content, carb content low, I'm going to add in some heavy cream. The heavy cream will help it stretch, but it won't add a lot of carb content. So I'm going to do about half a cup of heavy cream. And that's plenty. Probably a little too much, but... Okay, so in the sauce, I went ahead and just added in some spinach, some fresh spinach. And that is cooking down. It's cooked down a little bit, so I did bump my heat just a smidge to cook that spinach down just to give us a little bit more veg, which would be totally fine. You could you do broccoli in there if you wanted. So now I'm going to deal with my squash. It's had time to rest. It is very soft, like I can squish it. So what I'm going to do is take my knife, and I'm just going to cut it lengthwise. You do have to give it a quick run through because it is kind of thick on that end and I just miss that end all together. And then we just split it straight open. And if you could see this, see how the squash pulls apart from the sides? It looks just like spaghetti. Well, we're going to slide that back so that we're able to pull out the seeds. Because I didn't de-seed it first. I wanted to get it cooked because it's easier to scrape out the middle part. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. And careful just to get the seeds because that flesh does wanna start coming out as well. Depending on the size of your family, you could cook half. I know we did half the other night. But if I do both halves tonight, then I don't have to cook tomorrow, or at least I don't have to do lunch. So that part is out. Now, I'm just going to tin that sauce a little bit more. I'm going to pull it back on the heat, because that spinach has cooked down. And I put a couple of cups, large cups, four or five cups in there. And it's just going to mellow out. Then I'm going to take my fork, and I'm also going to take a mitt because it's hot. So I'm going to take my fork and my mitt, and then I'm just going to begin to pull from the sides the squash, and then I'm going to rake it right into the sauce. And because it is soft, it rakes out easily. And you want to fork it because it keeps it in the spaghetti strands. And be sure to get all of the flesh out. It's just hot. So now that I've got the squash in, I'm just going to use two forks because I really just want to separate the noodle. Right? The spaghetti noodle. And then I'm just going to cut that heat back even further. And then I'm going to start incorporating the sauce, right? Because you don't want your sauce to cook down so, so much that you don't have enough to go over your pasta. Now, you could totally do the sauce separate, you know, do the pasta separate. You could do spaghetti 
squash with just butter and garlic. You don't even need sauce. You could do all the veg that I put in. You could just do some butter and some garlic and that would be great. But I do want to make sure that I separate out the squash so that it's not clumps and get all of the sauce incorporated because you want every bite to have sauce. And just another way to kick this up like one more notch, you could actually add in some cream cheese. You could add in a tiny bit of sour cream. See how it's starting to, that sauce is sticked up because we put the spaghetti in. So now to finish this out, I'm going to take a handful of these, whoop, uh -oh, of these Kirkland bacon crumbles that we get from Costco. And just go over top of that. And then we're going to finish it out with some Parmesan cheese on top. And that's probably right at a half a cup. So there it is. This is the spaghetti squash. We topped it with a little bit of crumble bacon and some Parmesan cheese. And I did want to show you actually the inside of the squash. So you probably could pick a little bit more of these uh, <coughs> noodles out. So this is kind of what it looks like a little bit. You know, they do come out in longer strands. And then you can almost like we picked that one pretty clean. So... You know, you could pick out the rest of that if you wanted to. And then we just toss that into the trash when we're done. But there it is, spaghetti squash with bacon and Parmesan cheese. So thank you guys so much for stopping by our kitchen. And we'll see you next time we cook. Bye now.